what we have here are some hard drives. This is an older hard drive. This is an older yet called MFM. And they go in size, shrink, 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 shrink. And then we have some solid state hard drives. Well, they're not hard drives, they're flashcards, but basically the same technology. So, let's start from over here. This is actually not so old. It's about 40 gigabyte hard drive that was manufactured some years ago in an attempt to increase capacity by increasing size, which didn't work. This is an MFM hard drive. As you can see, internally they are identical. Well, this one has very thick letters because it's old, and old means high quality. Well, it doesn't really mean high quality. What it means is it's heavy. This is a SCSI hard drive, uh, not being used anymore. Uh, what's nice about it is it's very fast. This is another version of SCSI, also very, very fast, and today very, very expensive, but nobody needs them. This is a SATA hard drive. Uh, that's what's used today for the most part in all computers. This is an IDE hard drive, which was used very popularly in yesterday's computers. This is an older IDE hard drive from a laptop, as you can see inside. Very same technology, spinning platters on heads and... Uh, oh yeah, this one doesn't have that motor that new hard drive says. It actually has the stepper motor. It doesn't exist anymore. See, this, this is the new motor. It's uh, just two magnets and a coil. You can see the coil here. This is an older IDE hard drive from a laptop. This is a newer SATA hard drive from a laptop. These two are interchangeable. You can plug in a desktop hard drive into a laptop opening and it will work, provided that you supply the electricity. Uh, this is from iPods. Uh, they're also used in laptops. This is from a newer third generation iPod video. As you can see, the connector is quite tiny. That's the only reason or way to differentiate this. This connector is bigger. And this one is just straight IDE. There is actually a converter that you can plug it into an IDE and use this one instead of this one if you want to lighten up the load of your laptop. But Nobody does that anymore. This hard drive is the smallest one I've seen. I'm sure there may be some smaller ones, but this one actually is moving parts inside. As you can see, there is motor and connector and ugly, I should say. Uh, this is a flash drive. As you can see, there are no moving parts inside. Just open it up. There is the memory chip. There is another memory chip. There is the controller. That's all you get with your USB. If they break, not a good sign. This is a flash, uh, compact flash. Basically same thing inside. This is a uh, SD card, very popular today. And again, as you can see, there is the memory chip and the controller inside. This one was actually stepped on or driven on and the controller was cracked, but I was able to reattach a different controller, well, same controller, but from a different card, and read the information from the card, from the memory chip. This is another one, um, this is another SD card, and this is the smallest SD card out there so far that I've seen. I've seen this thing as big as 16 gigabytes. Six gigabytes of information stored on something slightly bigger than a well quarter inch squared. Um, that's all we have for today. These are all the nice hard drives that are gonna eat the data from your computer, destroy it, disable it, and this is how they do it.
Thank you for watching.